Turn what you got? Shake it. Look, sweetie. Oh. What is in there? Okay, hey, let's get them in there so they can go to their heater. Special delivery. A box of meat birds, 25 chicks, mistral gris, ready to be grown out. I guess they're going to need somewhere to live. If you know me, you know I'm a big fan of 2x2 two two construction. Lightweight, yet perfect for these farm animals. I've already cut my pieces to length, now it's time to assemble the walls. The final dimensions of this structure will be 8 by 10, or 80 square feet. That's over 3 square feet per bird. The minimum requirement for broilers is about 1.5 square feet per bird, but at least 2 is recommended. So we're going well over that by giving them 3 square feet each. The walls are roughly framed out. I'm going to try to assemble this myself. Wish me luck. Uh, Not really working out. After an afternoon of fumbling around, I decided to do what every smart man does in a difficult situation. Asks his wife for help. The other takeaway from this whole exercise? It's better to build the project in place. Thanks for the help, Brittany. Now, attempt number two. Much, much better this time around. Ah, finally starting to look like something. Check out this score. We got about 40 sheets of used metal roofing here, all for the low, low price of free. My favorite. We're going to cherry pick the best pieces for this project and then give them a shower off before installing them on the A-frame.
The boss is here today. Show me how it's done. Lots of ventilation up here. Pretty much mandatory when working with broilers. The chicks have graduated from the cage in the laundry room to a full-size camping tent in the garage. As they get bigger, so too does their mess. And man, they're getting stinky. We're using plenty of half-inch hardware mesh for this project. Just as we know that broilers are tasty, so too do all the predators out there, and we want to keep them out and the birds in. Now it's time for the other side of the roof to go up. We favored the A-frame design because of the abundance of roofing material we had. Because the majority of the structure is roof, we don't need as much material for siding or for hardware mesh or windows or anything like that. It's all roof. Father of the Year award right here. Don't tell mom. Now it's time to build the door. Ooh, like a glove. Salvage door hardware too? Believe it.
The free roofing even came with a ridge cap, so I'm going to put that on now. This door is great, but it's missing something. Yeah, a latch. That's a good point. I'll create a wire pull here so that you can open the door from the inside. You don't want to get trapped. I've buried some more wire underneath here to keep the predators out and the birds in. I'm just going to bury it with some buckets of fill. And some more wire outside. You can never have too much protection. Alright birdies, your campout is over. It's time to move into your new home. Oh, he's flying out. And just like that, they're moved in. The space looks huge for them now, but these birds grow surprisingly fast. They're gonna fill it out in no time. We're going to let these birds grow out to 12 weeks before processing, so we've got about 8 more weeks to go. I think they have a nice, comfortable, secure home though to live out the rest of their lives. And just like that, another project in the books for slow steading. Thanks for watching.